We'd seen these massive outrigger canoes as we sailed towards the Philippines, and we had no idea what they were or who lived on them. Just the man and another. How many people on board? Seventeen people. Seventeen, and they all sleep in here. I think I think we're going for a test drive. I'm Ben, that's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization. See you later. Oh, it's a Marlin. It's a Marlin. Yeah. <laughs> 28 countries later and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's going to happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. After three days at sea, we pulled into the first island we saw on the Philippine coastline. It was a whole new world. The sun was setting, there was exotic smells, new faces, and crazy looking boats that would do drive-bys at full speed. The next morning, we made quick friends with one of the guys on one of these crazy looking boats. Can we go with you, Bull boys? Can we go on yours? Can we take ours? Can yeah. We come? yeah, is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. What if we tip it? <laughs> We're fat. Yeah, no problem, baby. It's not tippy. That is tippy. <laughs> I'm gonna fall in. I'm in. Who's starting the engine? Uh, how about you, Turk? Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Can I see your engine? Yeah, this is the engine. Oh, it's a little Honda. How many horsepower? 16 horsepower. So our friend right here, Bo Boy, he's uh, been so kind that he's gonna go show us one of these massive fishing boats. They go for one month at a time and they just stay out there on a mooring. It's pretty cool, but pretty crazy. These are their flippers they use for fishing. Don't break them <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? They're like, what? You're interrupting our morning to come and check out our boat. <laughs> Oh, Can I climb up on this? Yeah, yeah, so it's okay. Okay. Just the bend another. Wow. It's a big boat. So this it's a big is, boat. is so this is a traditional fishing boat. Yeah, it's a fishing boat. And they go out for how long? I think um, uh, three weeks or a month. Three weeks or a month. This is a three weeks. Uh, Good for three weeks or uh, a month. Three weeks. This is the captain. <laughs> this, this is the boat captain. Ah. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. The hat for it's you. Me. Thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, breakfast time. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast. What's in, what's in these things? Diesel. Diesel? Yeah. Yes. More diesel. And this is water. Oh. Uh, water. Yeah. We'd seen boats like these over 200 miles offshore, and our sleep deprived minds could only imagine the wildest of stories of who they were and what they did. Now turn around, turn around. Oh, what? these are the, for, the floats. Yeah. Oh, so those are the fishing line? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a fishing line. So they put some tuna on this and then yeah. it goes behind the boat? Yeah. Something like that's sharp. You fish 24 hours. No, 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 no. Seven o'clock in the morning and the evening. You fish in the no, morning fish. and the evening. Something I should probably learn because that's when the fish come to the surface because it's cool out. We should keep our fishing lines out longer. <laughs> <laughs> Not during the day. Yeah. Too hot, no fish. They go down. Offshore, we'd seen all these little boats around the mothership. Sure enough, the mothership carries about 10 little boats. Each sets out to catch as many mahi mai, tuna, or blue marlin as possible. How many boats normally? One, two, three? Ten. Ten. Ten, ten, ten little boats. boats. One thousand kilos per small boat, and there's ten of them. And they catch like mahi mahi and tuna? Yeah. And they all have little hooks and they just yeah. jig. No netting, no nets. No nets. I'm just trying to figure out how many fish a day. One mahi is about three kilos. Yeah. 
So if one mahi is about three kilos, that means... 330 mahi or something? 300 plus mahi in three weeks. So 100 mahi a week. About 15 fish a day for each of these guys, each of these boats. So this is one of the small boats and they're pretty amazing. There's an engine in here. Uh, okay. So it's a little Honda again. Uh, okay. And that's what they use for mahi mahi? Like, this one. Those are for mahi mahi. Yeah. So plenty. One line he can cut uh, 20 fish. At one time? Wow. That's incredible. Is this for the big fish? Yeah. One. To bring up the fish. Yeah. Yeah. Does, yeah. does the crew get paid per fish or? The income of the boat. Oh, they split the income of the boat. Yeah. To put this into perspective, these men motor several hundred miles off the eastern Philippine coastline, a place where there is absolutely nothing but strong trade winds and big waves. Then live and work on this vessel for three weeks on end. Extra prop. Oh, yeah, this is In case. Oh, in case emergency. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's a big prop, hey? Yeah. So they're just changing props. Um, they're gonna put on a bigger one because they're not going as far. Big fix, three blade props. Do you have two engines on this boat? Yeah, there's uh, one engine inside in there. No plus cigarette, bro. Oh, wow. Wow, there's the diesel engine down here. It's huge. Can I go down? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have a water leak. Oh. Uh, yeah. Normal. <laughs> so, so, so what they're from? Uh, Cold. Oh, from the um, ice. Oh, from the from ice. From the ice, okay. Does it ever break down, this engine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it breaks. Oh. Often? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow, such a cool boat. So they're just changing out the propeller here. Uh, this is the old one. And uh, there's a new one going on. I think, I think we're going for a test ride with the, pro the new prop that just got on. So they're just pulling up the anchor right here. You're gonna eat that pig? Uh, you eat it? I eat it. Small wow. though. Uh, it's okay. Seven, ten people they eat that. Poor oh boy. When do they eat the pig? Are they gonna eat it this time? No, no. No, it we, just belongs to the owner and they make it big? Yeah, they, we want to have a gift, gift that for the boat. To give it? Yeah. As yeah, a gift? It's only for, yeah, it's only As a gift. gift. Yeah. Okay. How many people on board? Uh, 17 people. 17. 17. Wow. Where do you sleep? Yeah. In, in here. here. Oh. And they all sleep in here? Oh. Yes, they sleep in here. One hammock and then all the fishermen sleep in here and up oh. top too. Can, Can I go up? Oh, here, <laughs> no problem. There's a ladder. Oh, he's so quick. Uh. <laughs> I don't want to break anything. <laughs> We're so careful as we walk. Yeah, you want? yeah sure. I'll go up. Oh, what's in here? This is a thing for food. Oh, food. Rice? Okay. Uh, Rice. Sardines. Sardines, uh, yeah. Now for cooking this. Yeah. Wow, everything up here. And then you sleep up here too. Yeah. Getting ready to go. <laughs> Do you always have the lights on? Uh, yeah. Always. At night? Always. And what what color are those? Red? Green? Uh, green. White. Blue. And they blink? Uh, yeah, just blink. Like, they blink, okay. Did you see them? <laughs> yeah, I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, we come very close to one of you in the middle of the night. Are you moving aboard, Ash? No. There's no women. No, no women. ladies. No ladies allowed. <laughs> I hope it's not bad luck. <laughs> so they use these to put small fish in and then they take them out of the them out. ship them out of the country. The big fish got front in the big cooler. <laughs> we'll go check it out. You speak Tagalog? 
No. <laughs> wow, it's so cool, cool hey? right? Yeah. It's amazing here. It's just so well set up. Do you see in the cat in the cabin? Well, I don't know if we're allowed and we'll have to talk to the captain. But it's very cool. It's okay. Thank you. GPS. <laughs> oh, three GPS. Yeah. For and extra. Energizer. Yeah. In case it comes back. Yeah. In case it dies. This a radio for in case I'm busy for the other boat is calling. I didn't know you guys had radios. We could have called you. We call another fishing, boat. Fishing, fishing boat, fishing boat. Oh, commercial. Very fancy. The compass though has a compass. Yeah. Rice. Oh, that's all your supplies. Uh, supplies. Yeah. For eating. Can you can you show us the ice? The ice. Makita ako nerat. Oh wow. Oh, big ice. So ice everywhere underneath. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five okay. ice. Where did the fish go? It's full of ice. Yeah. Oh, the ice melts. The fish ice. go on. Okay. Wow, that's incredible. So in these small boats, they go out uh, during the day, well, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., and they fish with little lines. And then when they catch a mahi mahi or tuna, they bring that back to the boat at the end of the day, throw that in the freezer, and yeah, I guess go, go to sleep. Thank you. <laughs> Don't want to melt the ice. It's ingenious, eh? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's, it's incredibly ingenious. The, the floor is cold here. If you're ever hot, you just lay down here. <laughs> <laughs> What's under here? Oh, this is a diesel. Diesel. Oh, the diesel. Where you fill up the tank. Oh, more diesel. More diesel. More diesel. Yeah. How much diesel do you use? Uh, you, diesel to go all the way out, and then do you anchor? Yeah. And then you just sit with a, this big boat sits, stops. Oh. Yeah. It is absolutely incredible how they fish here. I mean, this boat is hand built from fishing line like 300 pound test fishing line and wood beams and that's it like there's not much more to it there's a little bit of fiberglass here and there but that's about it we got some rope up top they got ice in the middle and then they fish at 7 a.m and 7 p.m so cool and they got dogs on here they got pigs on here maybe they have cats i don't know Yeah, it's pretty cool.